This weekend, national champions will be crowned in the sport of basketball, including here in Fort Myers, Florida, where the college stars of tomorrow go toe to toe in a battle of high school unbeatens for the right to be called national champions and the right to take home some pretty sweet hardware. With that, we welcome you to Fort Myers, Florida, and welcome to the 2021 Geico High School Nationals presented by the United States Marine Corps. And today, it's Paul the Sixth out of Virginia facing Westlake High School from Georgia. Four teams entered this tournament undefeated. Only one of them will leave that way. Top seed Westlake ran past Fremont out of Utah and PVI snapped Lake Highland Prep's 35 game win streak in overtime to set up today's matchup. Matt Schick along with Asia Ellison, former Maryland and Texas A&M standout and former Geico Nationals alum as well. And Asia, from someone who played in this tournament, what's the significance of today and this moment? Well, obviously for four teams coming in undefeated, Matt, you want to keep that record, right? And then of course, we're on the big stage now, so you want to get that national championship win and be able to show your showcase your talent here on ESPN. Well, oh, there's going to be a lot of talent showcased today here on ESPN2. Let's start with the dynamic duo for Westlake. And this is a dynamic duo that everyone loves to watch. And you, you got to put on them track sneakers if you want to keep up with them, too. You got Raven Johnson just consistently pushing and Latson running out and being able to get those buckets. And when it's not Latson running out, Raven Johnson, she can push it herself, too. And as you can see here, get into that free throw jumper. I mean, just such a phenomenal player. They combined for 51 points yesterday, 25 of them for Raven Johnson, the number two player in the ESPN W100. She has signed with South Carolina and head coach Don Staley. One assist shy of a triple-double yesterday. How about the duo for PVI, beginning with Lee Volker, the Duke signing? Now, these two are definitely something special. I mean, this PVI team can't run without these two. And whether they're creating shots for teammates or creating the shots for themselves, they always have to have the ball in their hands. And that's Lee Volker and Isabella Perkins. And Perkins really turned it up for her team yesterday on the defensive end. She certainly did. And those aren't the only two talented players for PVI. Let's take a look at our player profile fueled by Gatorade. Jalen Talley tallied 17 points to go along with six rebounds in yesterday's semifinal against the Highlanders. Watson and Johnson. Well, that's PVI out and running. Off the glass and in. That's the and One thing we have to keep in mind, Matt, this PVI team, they're a veteran team, and they're used to playing some of the top players, top programs in the country, so they're not going to let up, and they're not going to come out shot. by Turnage. Yeah, Turnage already with a bucket in the block, and we didn't see too much from her yesterday with the big size that Fremont had, but I expect to see a lot more from her in the paint today. Look at that hesitation. The hesitation there from Tanaya Latson, just so many different speeds that she can play the game with. Like I said, you have to have those track sneakers on when you're dealing with her. Extra pass, the tally again. Five points early on here for PBI, all by Tally. And Matt, how great was Tally in yesterday's game? I mean, when you have the ball in Bella and Bella Perkins and Lee Volker's hands, you have to be able to step up and be an option when they're taken away. And I mean, she had a great performance yesterday. And full of ranked players. ESPN rankings coming to college campuses near you, including Raven Johnson. Banks that one in. She's talented enough. She doesn't need the bank, but she used it there. The number two player in the ESPN W100. She needed to be out there with South Carolina last night. I mean, she's looking like a college basketball hooper. A couple of games we saw yesterday. UConn and Arizona, South Carolina and Stanford, two of the best games in either the men's or women's tournament. There's Latson again, just ahead of steam. She is the quickest player on this floor today. The quickest player, and she never, ever stops. The motor just keeps on running. Ella Perkins from long range. High with a one-point lead. Westlake, this is how they do it. In transition, there's Latson. PVI, though, answering with the three from Perkins. We got a good one. Reaching Ladson and Johnson, they are going to eat you alive if you are loose with the ball and let it get to their hands. And with Westlake, you want to keep it. UConn and Arizona, 
South Carolina and Stanford, two of the best games in either the men's or women's tournament. There's Latson again, just ahead of steam. She is the quickest player on this floor today. The quickest player, and she never, ever stops. The motor just keeps on running. Bella Perkins from long range. Certainly a big one snapping Lake Highland Prep's 35 game win streak, but very cool to see Father amidst COVID. Things fell together the right way for them to not only get an undefeated record, but do it against formidable opponents. Turnage proving to be formidable here today. She's got a couple of buckets. Yeah, and this is where Turnage, I think, can really elevate at that next level, being able to work in the post, but also being able to take the defense outside of the perimeter and work around and get to the basket. There's a couple of times here. We saw it yesterday, too, with PBI. They do a great job of cutting to the basket, those backdoor cuts as well. Look at Turnage in the long range, Jay, and then because of what we saw from Johnson and Latson, and she can do it all, the Virginia Tech commit. Yeah, Turnage turning up with the three. She said, Matt, I'm not I'm not gonna stay in the paint today. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take it out on the perimeter and show you guys what I can do out here. She and Raven Johnson, part of the two player senior class. And they're working collectively on that end. What a nice move to the hoop for Jalen Talley. Johnson. The same circumstances, same um, preseason, and time to kind of get into the flow of things like a normal freshman would. Remarkable. Saw the wave of emotions yesterday with the way that South Carolina Stanford game ended. Yeah, and it just shows the passion the that end. these girls. Sorry, man. It's, it just shows the passion that these girls have. And I think that was one of my favorite moments in the game. Raven Johnson, you know, she was talking about how she's going to get her four rings and not being able to fit the four fingers. And I'm like, honey, this is big. It's hard to account for. Listen, if you give me one day off, I'm coming in rusty. <laughs> so, but I mean, it all it all goes back to practice. Coach talked about how high intense their practices were. And he said attitude, effort, and enthusiasm were his points. At one points in yesterday's semifinal win over Fremont out of Utah. Here comes Johnson. This is what they like to do, and this is what they do. Johnson yep, and the And there's the push right there, exactly on the money, like you said, Matt. That's exactly what they want to do. So Paul the six, whether it's a turnover, rebound, you got to sprint back and stop those two in transition. There's the cut, and that's what PBI does. Nice cut there. Alyssa Costigan on the receiving end. Yeah, you have to stay disciplined on defense. You have to keep your head on a swivel and you have to talk. There's no reason why that lane should have been that open for a cutter to get through and nobody to see it. 11 to 4 run for Westlake. Make it 13 to. Brianna Turnage down double figures. 22 points off 20 turnovers and they're at it again. Yeah, and this is, like we said, this is exactly what they need to continue to do. Get those points off of turnovers and turnage over here, turning up today. She didn't really that back court. Corinne Eisner missed that layup, but some good defensive pursuit. Raven Johnson now mentioned they're an 11 and 0 run away here. They can feel it coming. They're 11 and 0. Bella Perkins. Going to need shots like that to fall, and she gets offers and has certainly done a lot here in this tournament to merit that. Two on the shot clock. Latson gets that one to fall. In the locker room. We talked to Scott Allen before the start of the half. So get your popcorn ready. Volker, salty. Third and ten. Get your popcorn ready indeed. Having to come out with high intensity and turn it up a little bit. They can make this comeback if they have that high intensity and effort and most importantly, knock down those shots. See coach is telling him here, come up, turn it up on the defensive end. <laughs> Tania Latson looked like she was gonna draw contact instead. Little fly her way through it and gets that one. That was a terrific play. Volker, no good. And this 12 point lead could balloon here as here comes 
Lats it again. Again, drawing the contact. That's what Coach says. You get her down the lane. She's either shooting foul shots or she's going to make the shot. She's been terrific here, Asia. Yeah, I mean, just her ability to just be able to run, get out on the floor, and you see this bucket here, just Look doing... South Carolina <laughs> came up a win shy of the national championship game. That tough loss yesterday. There's Latson slicing again, drawing the traffic. Feeds that one to the baseline for McKinney. Yeah, that's just a great move by Latson and great unselfish play, because I thought she had the shot, but way to get her other teammates involved. Lee Volker, the Duke signee with the pass. Down low to Costigan, gets that one to fall. See, and those are those cuts, exactly what Paul the Six needs to get some scoring on the offensive end. Another feed, but an offensive foul there. Good positioning there from Jalen Talley as Raven Johnson gets called for the foul. Here tonight, Latson coming off the ball screen with a little split between the defense and a good kick out pass there to Sham. Gonna need those shots to fall. That's Bella Perkins. She's got 10 points now. They're within 12 with about 90 seconds to go in the third. Trying to turn them over instead. Latson just so quick to the rim. Tally with one hand, bending push. Tally with one the hand. It does say end of the third. It is not, as evidenced by the fact that we are playing. Here's Raven Johnson. The kick, laps in three. Wow. Twenty-five points. For Tania Latson. Yeah, I mean, they are on a string together. They always know where one and the other is, and Latson with that three. Tonight, a pedestrian 11 points, six assists, three rebounds, three rebounds. How about another assist? I mean, and just getting all over the stat board, it's not every day you see a point guard. You see them getting the assist, obviously, but to have that many points. Along with her 27 points, this is what they do, largest lead of the day. Yeah, they see the one another. If it's not Johnson passing the lats, and it's lats and getting it to Johnson, and that's just a great pass here, getting it right over the defender, and great finish by Raven Johnson. Brianna Turnage, by the way, a rebound away from a double-double today. Perkins a little off, tally. <laughs> Cynthia Wilson, number 15, steps in for her. Tough shot. Tough shot. Yep, that'll take a timeout, actually. Yeah, that's just such a tough basket, oh, bucket over Perk. Tally. Gladson, good to see her back in the game. She did say words from her mouth saying it was just a cramp, all good to go. But Turnage looking for more, but instead turns that ball over. Here's Perkins. We'll see where she ends up going, what she chooses in the university. Latson. 26 points yesterday. 57 points over two days. <laughs> Won the state championship in Georgia. And they're going to win the national championship here in Florida. The Westlake Lions, your Geico Nationals champion. For the first time. Johnson and Turnage combining for 59 of their team's 70 points. Some of these ladies coming to college campuses near you, thanks to Lori Sandrock.
stats guy, Paul Newman. Thanks for all the help. 2021 Geico Nationals Girls Champions, Westlake out of Georgia.